Good morning, everybody. Good morning and welcome. Welcome. Welcome to a nice day. Actually, it's quite sunny today. Um, it's supposed to be pretty chilly, though. I think it's going to be down to 11 degrees, something like that. But feel like 10, so not exactly uh, the summer weather we've had recently. But, you know, it's, uh, it's getting, coming to the autumn, so it's going to happen sooner or later. Um, something a little bit different today, a bit of an experiment, um, especially with everything going on with the cost of living. I thought, you know, how can we save a little bit of money on our bikes? And one thing I'm thinking about is oil. Uh, I mean, bike oil is expensive. I mean, let's face it, I mean, it's pretty damn expensive. If you buy proper bike oil, you're going to pay eight, nine, ten pounds easily or more uh, for some good bike oil. And I just thought, you know, can we get away with using cheaper bike oil? Do we need to use the really, really expensive bike oil? Will substitutes do the same? Um, I mean, to be honest, I got the idea from somebody online. I was chatting away about different oils and stuff, and they said, um, you know, they don't make specialized oils for bikes. And I thought, oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I don't know. So I got to thinking, you know, if they don't you make um, specialized oils for bikes, what oils do they use? You know, is it just engine oil, like from a car? Do you know? Because there's plenty of obviously, obviously synthetic oils out there for cars. Um, you know, of different um, viscosities and synthetic oils and semi-synthetic oils. So um, I set myself a mission to go and try and find an oil which was similar to the oil I'm using already. I mean, the oil I'm using already is brilliant. I'm not knocking it for one minute. It's been. I'm not going to name any names or brands today because I don't want to get into trouble with anybody. <laughs> um, but. The, the brand I was using before, you, you know which one it was if you look back to my videos, but the brand I've used before has been brilliant. It's fantastic oil, but it is expensive. It is pricey. Um, so what I did is I went out and I looked for oils which kind of felt the same viscosity, you know, the same sort of thickness. Um, and I did that basically. And I came across an oil, um, and it's a motor oil. And this is it here. So I've two bottles here. I've got my original bike oil expensive bike oil which is really good like i say not knocking it really really good oil and then i've got the motor oil, motor oil here um this is the oil i'm using for the motor oil and um, car lube but of course it could be any brand um you know you can use castrols and things like that i basically didn't pick car lube for the brand or anything like that i just picked the cheap one of the cheapest oils i could find and this i think if i remember rightly this was um i think it was four three ninety nine or four ninety nine this was and um, but you're getting a liter of oil there compared to little bottles like this which you, you can pay seven or eight pounds for these kind of little small bottles of proper specialized bike oil so what i did is i basically looked for an oil um which had the same kind of thickness the same viscosity if you like um and you can see here if i put a little bit out here this is the original oil. this is not very scientific this of course that's the original and that's the that's the motor oil now you can see there i mean it's obviously a different color it's a little bit runnier the the motor oil compared to the bike oil um, but I thought it was worth a try. I certainly think it's worth a try. It doesn't feel that much different actually when I rub it between my fingers. That's a cheap one, that's a model. It doesn't feel much different at all on my fingers. So I'm gonna clean my um, chain on my me, on me mountain bike. I'm gonna try it on my mountain bike first. Um, give it a good clean like I normally would. And then after I've cleaned it, I'm gonna put on the um, cheap oil and I'm gonna see how well it works. Um, like I say, it could be a non-starter. It could be one of these things that try and it just feels horrible on the chain my track loads of dirt i don't know i don't know but i'm thinking maybe a good experiment you know unless you try these things you don't know do you so i'm going to clean the mountain bike now mountain bike chain now and i'm going to put on the cheap oil and then i'm going to take the bike for a spin see how it feels obviously this is going to be a long-term test really i can't really try on one one try to see if it works i'll have to try it over a, over a length of time you know to see what the difference is uh, but i think it's an experiment worth, worth trying especially with the cost of living the way it is in the moment it's worth uh, trying to save a few few pounds here and there, isn't it really? It's going to see a few pennies, but I think it's worth saving a few pounds. So I want to clean the bike chain now, and then we'll put the cheap oil on. As you probably remember from your previous video, I've got my little cleaning machine here, which is fantastic, it does a great job. Um, and this is screw fix, um, no nonsense degrease of this in this bottle. I just decanted it in this bottle because it's easy to use. Um, but screw fix um, cleaner is really good, and it's, that's a good value option as well because um, you can get different um, degreases and um, some of them are really really expensive as well um, but the, the screw fix one you know you're getting like a four litre bottle and um, it's relatively cheap compared to the others so I'm going to um, clean this chain now um, obviously links to like the screw fix stuff I can put in the description if you want to check it out uh, and uh, as you can see it's in dire need of a clean look at the state of this <laughs> so yeah I'm going to give that a clean and then I'm going to put the cheap oil on 
Man muss sehr groß. These little machines work quite simply really, they just gotta I'll take it off to show you. Just got a set of brushes inside. Um you can see the chain runs through, runs through the brushes out the other side, and they spin like that as you as the chain goes round. Um and cleans the chain. Does a decent job actually as well. And this handle just locks it all in place. Probably going to take two or three turns to get this clean. As you can see here, how dirty that is. Just make sure you don't get this air on your grass because it will kill your grass as well. Put the fresh back in again, and as I say, I do it about three times. It makes a huge difference to, your, to the feel of your bike when you, when you do this, when you clean your chain. Makes the, makes the bike run much smoother, much smoother. Now I've put the um, the degreaser on, so I'm going to let that soak for about five minutes to get into all the oil, get it all out. In the meantime, I need to use one of these. I've showed these before, but make sure you check your chain with your chain checker. Um, it's important because if you don't, as well as your chain being worn out, you can also damage your yeah, your free wheel and your crank. You know, because it wears the teeth down basically to match the worn chain. That's what happens. Um, so. I've got two different measurements here. I've got one is um, 0.75 there, so put that on. And as long as you can see a gap, you see there's a gap, that's all right. You see there's a gap, that's all right. If they're going flat like that, if they're going like that, then that's worn, so that's okay. And if it's not worn in that one, then it's not going to be worn in the next one, the one, because obviously that's a high setting, so that one's okay as well. Because if it's worn in that one, if it's gone flat like that, then you change change your chain and your cassette might be okay. You might not have damaged your, your cassette. If it goes down flat on the one, the one there, you can see on that side, if that went flat, you can see mine doesn't go anywhere near flat, thankfully. But if that went flat like that, then you've probably damaged your chain and you've damaged your cassette and your crank. Um, and it's lots of money to replace. So get yourself one of these. It's certainly worth the money, only about three pounds or something like that. Anyway. Chain is soaking, I'm gonna let that soak a little bit. And then I've got my trusty washer here, which I use. Um, I could use a hose pipe, but I just find this easier. Um, it's portable, it's easy, it doesn't get water absolutely everywhere. It's more of a control nozzle out of it. You can see there. You know, you just get a, a nice little nice little sprayer. That's brilliant for doing the chain. So I'm letting that soak and then I'm gonna clean it off with the water. I've also got this little brush here which I use for doing the little jockey wheels. Um, so I spray the degrease on there and go down the back of the jockey wheels there on either side um, Just makes it easy to get in and, and you can also do the, the cogs with one of these there. So these are these are good little tools to have as well and again cheap as chips um, If you want any of these and um, I'll put links to all this kind of stuff if you want any of this obviously in the description You can check them out um, But yeah, it's um, it's worth cleaning your chain every so often um, It makes a massive difference to your bike. It's one of the easiest things to do on a bike which makes the biggest difference I find um, it just runs smoother, much, much better, and of course keeps your bike in good condition and uh, saves you money in the long run. So yeah, whichever oil you use, whether you're going to use cheap oil that I'm going to use now, or whether you use expensive oil, make sure you clean your chain and regular, and your drilling and your crank and stuff. Make sure you give them a degrease. Uh, makes a huge difference. So as you can see, if we get the sun on that, that's much shiner look. Look at that, much cleaner. Makes a huge difference, huge difference to your bike. Just clean the chain. Also bear in mind if you're um, a set of um, drillers like this one's got, um, it has a clutch on there as well. So make sure you take the clutch off, otherwise it makes it very difficult to, to pedal the bike backwards to do your chain. Yeah, but yeah, that's much, much better now, much better. So now it's time to put the oil on. And as I say, this is the bike oil I normally use. I've covered the label up. Um, I'm getting the sun as you can see. I've covered the label up. 
just so that um, you know I don't cause any problems with anybody, any manufacturer of oil. And it is brilliant oil, really is good oil. This that I've used before, excellent oil. Uh, but today I'm using this, which is in the same container as that, and I've just put motor oil, which is of course is this. It's this one here. Um, if you can see the label there, but that's 2050. Um, so that, that um, basically shows the thickness of the oil, how thick it is. Because I wanted to get something that was because this this bike oil, oil here, that's my original bike oil, is quite thick. You know, it's quite a thick. If I put a little bit on the top of this um, cap here, you can see that's the that's the original bike oil there. You can see it's quite thick. Just touch a bit of that. You probably can't tell obviously from the camera, but it is a quite a it's quite a thick and very very good oil. Uh, if I put this motor oil on here it's not coloured, the other one's green, this one's clear but that is very very similar that is very 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 similar so that's the cheap one, that's the expensive one obviously I'm contaminating them too here you now, putting fingers between the two but there's not a huge difference in it to be honest with you um, so this is the one I'm going to put on today this here this is what I'm putting on, so I'm going to do that now and uh, Time will tell what a difference it makes. Um, I think it's going to be one of those things where um, you know it's going to take a while to, to try it out. You know, um, I'll put it a day and I'll obviously see what it feels like straight away. But I think it's going to take days and days and days, and um, probably weeks actually. So if it's, it's see the difference, so I think it's going to be a long running thing. This really to see what it's like. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's, it's certainly worth a go, isn't it? So we can save a few pounds. It's certainly worth a go. So I'm going to stick that all on now. So I'll put a whiteboard marker on. That way, when I oil the chain, I'm not redoing the links that I don't need to redo. Uh, that was very important when I was using the expensive oil. Actually, <laughs> might be less important with the cheaper one. Um, but yeah, with the with the with the expensive oil, it's very very important. Uh, and the best way I find is just to do each link individually. So basically, just go across each link like that. Make sure that all each link's oiled, and work your way around like that. So that's it guys, that's it, all done, all done. So now it's ready just to try it out really. Take it out, see what it's like. I mean it feels okay, feels no different than the other oil. It just runs it smooth. Um the time will tell really I suppose when I try it out properly. Um it's gonna be worth a try, isn't it, for a few pounds for the oil. Um so yeah, so I'm using I'm running me I'm now running my bike on <laughs> engine oil. <laughs> so that video you just saw there was filmed in September. Uh, end of last year and it's now nearly the end of January so it's about four and a half months ago um, it's quite interesting actually when I watched the video back before there because um, I mentioned seven degrees I was getting cold uh, I wish it was seven degrees now it was about one degrees today I think um, so yeah hopefully I get a bit warmer but um, yeah so what I did was as, I, as you saw in the video I washed all the old oil off the bike the oil I normally use the expensive oil I washed it off the bike cleaned the chain, gave it a thorough good uh, clean, and then I used the engine oil. I um, actually put the engine oil, uh, as you saw in the video, in one of my old bottles of oil, um, you know, cleaned that bottle out of an old bottle, put the engine oil in that so it was easy to apply, and then I used the bike normally, and I've been using the bike normally ever since. Um, many, many rides, obviously, I've, I've no idea how many rides I've done or how far I've been, how many miles I've been, but I've just been using the bike normally. Um, one thing I did notice when I put the oil on, um, span the chain was, the obviously the thickness of the new oil, the engine oil was wasn't as thick as the other one. It didn't cling to the chain, you know, quite as well. And you could see kind of you know splatting around a bit, you know, off the off the chain. You could see it sort of uh, flicking up a bit onto the frame. So uh, that was a little bit of an issue, you know, if you if you're not uh, keen on getting your, your bike dirty, it was not the best thing. Can I just say as well before going any further with this? Um, I'm not as a disclaimer. I'm not saying that you should use um, this oil, you know, on your expensive road bike or whatever. Um, obviously I can be held accountable for any damage this might cause. It was purely as an experiment for me to try uh, myself just to see if it would work, you know, and I thought this day and age of people having no money, cost of living, you know, everything's prices have gone through the roof. I thought it would be interesting just to try. And when I heard somebody say, like I said in the video, somebody once somebody's actually said to me online, you know, that they don't actually make 
special oil for bikes. I thought, yeah, that's interesting. You know, is it just normal oil and repackaged? I don't know. I don't know if this is true. Not, and I'm not saying it is, but I thought it was worth a try. It was worth an experiment to do, out of my own interest. Uh, but like I say, you know, don't, don't try this on your bike. You know, it's up to you if you want to try it. You know. But don't try any expensive bike, I should say, and then have problems and then say, um, you know, that John's broke my bike, you know, so, you know, um, also you'd be accountable for your own actions. But anyway, that aside, um, I've tried for the last four months and brilliant. I've had no problems at all. It's been really, really good, to be honest with you. Um, I couldn't tell any difference using this cheap oil, this cheap engine oil, which cost me $4.99. Um, and I, it's... I can't see any difference using that than it was using the expensive oil. Um, I'm not knocking the expensive oil. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the oil I used to use. Or, well, I still will use it at times. Um, you know, it's good oil. It's very, very good oil. But I just thought it'd be interesting to know if you can use cheaper oil and would it do the job. You know, would it do the job just as good as the more expensive oil. So the normal oil that I've normally been buying is, um, I've got it right down here, was £8.49 at the moment. For 120 millilitres, um, that's what I used to pay for this oil. Uh, obviously, the price fluctuates and goes up and down, but that's what generally I've been paying for it. Um, the engine oil was 4.99 for one litre. Um, that's the difference. One litre compared to 120 millilitres. Um, you know, 8.49 for 120 millilitres and 4.99 for one litre. Uh, so, so yeah, so it's a it's a it's a massive difference in price, really. Yeah, and again, I'm not knocking the old, you know, or the um, expensive um, bike oil, specialised bike oil, um, and I'm not going to name any brands, anything like that, yeah, because I don't want to offend anybody, offend any companies. Um, it is really, really good oil, the oil I've been using on my bike in the past, the, the proper cycle oil is very, very good, but it's also very expensive. Um, but this engine oil has been really, really good as well. Um, it's worked really well. As I say, I've found no problems. The gears have changed fine. Um, there's been no extra noise, um, nothing different, nothing different at all. I cannot really say I would know any difference. If somebody had put this oil on my bike and I hadn't told us it had been changed, I wouldn't have known the difference, put it that way. Uh, and like I say, I've got a, a huge amount of um, oil still left that I can use. And the good thing about it as well is that, you know, I clean my bike regularly. I clean my chain regularly, I should say. The bike I don't, as you've probably seen in my videos, my bike's really dirty, my mountain bike. Because uh, it just gets, you know, you clean it once and you go back on the, on the tracks and it's just dirty again. So I kind of put stuff clean in it. But I do keep the chain as clean as, like the running gear, the chain and the cogs as clean as possible, as often as possible. And when you use an expensive oil, if you clean the chain and have to put expensive oil back on again, uh, the, the, the cost can still mount up. So at least when I'm doing it this way, I'm thinking, well, you know, this is not costing us very much to put this oil back on again. And I put the engine oil into the um, the old bike. Um, oil container you know because it's just so much easier to apply to the chain and you know I have got that sort of ease of mind that well it's not costing us a fortune every time I'm clean my chain on my bike but yeah so so the experiment is finished you know uh, I'm still using the engine oil at the moment and I will still use obviously my expensive bike oil and I'll probably use the expensive bike oil on my road bike um, for, the, for the time being anyway but it's, it's a, it was a really interesting experiment to try it out on the mountain bike I think it was a success, I think it's worked well, and I'll probably keep on using the engine oil for, for now. Um, and, and like I say, I don't know if I'll any, have any long-term problems. I mean, it's been four and a half months, so I've given it a pretty good length of time, really, and the chain doesn't seem to have any ill effects, yeah, it hasn't caused any problems, anything like that. I mean, I do check it for wear, and it seems absolutely fine at the moment. Um, so yeah, at the moment, after four and a half months, this cheap engine oil has worked really well. So it's a good alternative for me. Again, this is just for me, my own preference. Yeah, obviously, I'm not going to recommend that everybody dashes out there and gets this this oil, you know, because, uh, you know, like I said, I don't be held accountable. But for me personally, this cheap engine oil has worked really, really well and it's saving us a lot of money. So, so yeah, so it was an exper interesting experiment to do and I'm pleased I did it. And, uh, yeah, it should save us a few, few, few pounds in the future. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Take care of yourselves out there and I'll see you all very soon. See you later. Bye bye.